Uh, I trust you've done good business with God. So we're coming to the conclusion of the process. We're going to set a declaration of faith together that's on page 185. And I suggest that you really just declare this, these great truths out to the heavenly realms. Let's go for it. I, here and now, in the name of the one Lord Jesus Christ, declare my faith in the living God. I declare that there is only one God who exists as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is the creator and sustainer of all things. I declare that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Word who became flesh and dwelt among us. I declare that Jesus died on the cross for the forgiveness of sins and rose bodily from the dead on the third day. I declare that he came to destroy the works of the devil and that he has disarmed the rulers and authorities and made a public display of them, having triumphed over them by the cross. I declare that the Holy Spirit, who lives in me, is fully God, who by his indwelling presence causes people to be born again into the kingdom of God. The Holy Spirit seals God's people until the day of redemption. By his empowering presence, the Holy Spirit enables people to live for God and extend God's loving rulership into the whole world. I declare that I have been saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ and not as a result of any works on my part. I declare that God has delivered me from the dominion of darkness and transferred me to his kingdom. I declare that I am now seated with Christ in the heavenly places as a fully adopted child of God. I declare that apart from Christ, I can do nothing, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I declare my complete dependence on Jesus Christ. I declare to the spiritual realms that Jesus is my only Lord and Saviour. I declare that the Bible is trustworthy and true, the only reliable standard for faith and life. I declare that the promises God makes in the Bible are dependable, and the revelation of God in the Bible is faithful. I declare that I belong to Christ, for I was bought with a price. I declare my entire being to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God through Jesus. I declare that my life and my leadership, my work and my ministry all belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, and I submit them freely to him. I declare that Christ is in me, the hope of glory. I declare by faith that I receive the Holy Spirit as the Father has promised. I declare by faith that I will do the works that Jesus did to the glory of the Father. I declare that I will live by faith and not by sight, seeking to please and honour God in all I say and do to the glory of Jesus Christ. I fully commit myself to the leadership to which God has called me, Freedom in Christ Ministries. I fully commit myself to loving and serving the people to whom God has called me. I fully commit myself to humble leadership within the sphere God has given me. I fully commit myself to bringing glory and honour to Jesus Christ through my leadership. I declare that the Lord Jesus has all authority in heaven and on earth. 
I declare that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I declare that by his blood, Jesus ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And he has made them a kingdom and priests to our God. And we shall reign on the earth. I declare that holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. I declare that worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Amen. Oh, that feels better. It's good to have a good declare, isn't it? I love it. Well, well done. If you've done business with God today, you can be confident that you have closed some significant doors to the enemy and taken hold of your freedom in Christ. This is going to have a positive effect on your leadership. We're really excited about seeing real, authentic Christian leaders let loose into the world. And the issue from here on in is not so much getting free, but staying free. Ensuring that the changes that we've made today become permanent and we don't slip back into our...